Welcome back. Combining art, culture, and the power of dance, the National Dance Institute of New Mexico announced its popular live performance, Winter Dances at the Highland Theater here in Albuquerque. If you're looking for some awesome weekend plans, this is the perfect event to see for yourself. We're joined this morning by Highland Artistic Director Layla Amos to find out more about the performances. Good morning. Good morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for being here this morning. We're really excited to have you on. Um, tell us about the upcoming performances. Uh, it's called Moving Stories, uh, and it's going to feature our student artist of the Highland Company uh, performing in tandem with professional dance company Robert Moses's Kin from San Francisco. The first half of the show is a piece choreographed by myself for the dancers, the student dancers. They're ages uh, 10 to 16, and there's about 30 of them. Uh, and the piece really centers around helping them find their authentic, empowered voice through movement language. Um, and it's a reflection on where they come from, who they are, who they want to become, and the impact they want to have on their world. How much work goes into a performance like this? You said that you choreographed one of the dances. Um, mm -hmm. How much time, effort? <laughs> to get them on stage. And so much. <laughs> um, we've been working since about August um, and they are fairly new, some of them to dance. They come from a lot of our residency programs. So this is a kind of first experience for some of them at this level. Now you have an internationally renowned uh, dance company participating. Tell us about the partnership, how it came to be and what attendees can expect from that. Well, when I was envisioning what I wanted to do, I really wanted to bring a professional contemporary dance company to New Mexico. That's something we don't get very often. And um, I've known Robert for about 20 years. We've done many projects together, and I felt that we were really aligned in terms of using dance as a vehicle for youth development, social change, community engagement, inclusion, and equity. Um, so it started with the workshop. He came out with two teaching artists and did a workshop here at the Highland with our parents and families that was um, centered around storytelling and movement language and collaboration. And his work will be inspired by that. Um, when will the Moving Stories performance be? It will be this weekend, Friday and Saturday, February 17th and 18th at 7 p.m. Um, and tell us a little bit more about NDI and how, it, how does it enrich the lives of New Mexico's youth? Well, NDI New Mexico has been serving New Mexico youth for almost 30 years now um, with our in-school, in public schools with dance instruction, live performance and live music as well as our after-school programs, which happen at the Highland in Albuquerque and the Dance Barns in Santa Fe. We offer classes for ages three to 17 and everything from ballet to musical theater to hip hop and break dancing. Um, and I think that all the programs have a common foundational belief that the arts have the power to really engage and motivate children and teach them discipline and excellence and a belief in themselves that can carry over into everything that they do. Now, one last time for us, when, where, how much? <laughs> It'll be at the Highland Winter Dances Moving Stories, uh, Friday, February 17th and Saturday the 18th, 7 p.m. Tickets are pay what you can, okay. as little as $5, suggested price 25. Okay. And if we want to find more information, where can our viewers go for that? NDI slash New Mexico org. Perfect. And then you can also visit our website. Of course, we'll have all of that information posted along with the recap of the interview, always on krqe.com. 